Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with one of my favorite people on this show, Elise Kroll. She's a designer. She's back behind the scenes every single day we work together, coming up with different ideas and brainstorming about all the makeovers that we do on the show. So you've got some easy ideas for fabric that everybody can use. Yes. OK, yes. first everyone has to say hi to you. Say hi to Elise, everybody. <laughs> She's normally backstage. All right. So let's start with the curtains, because these are fantastic. Yeah, um, I'm a fabric hoarder. I cannot throw away scraps of pretty fabric. I keep them around and wait for something to do with them. So. This is really true, because I'll be like, wait, what about this bench we have going on in a makeover? And Elise will be like, well, I have this, like from a purse. And I'll be like, <laughs> what? Where did you get that? She's like, I don't know. I just have it. I'm like, I've okay. had it for my seventh grade home ec class. You, it is. <laughs> like, right. I had a hamburger pillow. Elise has like beautiful brocade. All right. <laughs> so let's talk about these for a sec. This is great. This is something anybody could do. If you sew, great. It's a straight seam. If you don't sew, learn about stitch witchery, which you can use with your iron. Um, you can take a plain pair of drapes that you get any place inexpensively, take ones you already have, and just embellish them with some beautiful fabric. If, if it's an expensive fabric, you don't need that much at all. Right. Ribbon, I buy ribbon on sale. I buy entire spools. Then I figure out what to do with it later. It's, it's nice to be a fabric hoarder. All right, so let's talk about the art, because this is really cute. And then I want to talk about this pillow. This is literally something anybody can do. This is just a collage made with different scraps of fabric. And suddenly, you put a frame on them. They're elevated to artwork. And really, when you think about them as textures and you can fray them, it, you know, it's like you have this whole other medium besides paint and you know, crayon or magic marker. This is something your kids can do with you. Yep, and, and I love how you frayed the edges of some just, yeah. to make, just, just to have it be a bit more artistic. It's also a really great gift for somebody who's just finished a decoration project. If you ask them for the scraps of what they've used in their room and assemble that that way, it's a really nice present. That's a great idea. And Thanks, Elise. Couldn't be easier. We should work together. <laughs> we should. Yes. You should well, have you, a show. Let's, you should be in my design department. <laughs> this is great. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about this pillow because we all see we're always in the sale aisle of all the linen department. Mm -hmm. These you can find quality, well, you know, good thread count pillowcases and bedding, but you've of course taken them to the next level. Not only that, but I have a queen bed. I like to buy queen sheet sets. Mm -hmm. And my pet peeve is they never come with queen size shams right, they or come cases. With standards. They come with standards, which okay. are always too short for my queen pillows. Mm -hmm. So take some of the leftover fabric and some ribbon and suddenly I have a queen pillowcase. So this is one of Elise's ideas for a hostess gift, and you say that people are very easily impressed by this. Totally, because basically you show up with your hostess gift, look, I made you this pillow. And Which literally, is really cute. It couldn't be easier. You buy, uh, you know, we call them tea towels, or they're actually dish towels, although I think these are too pretty to use for dishes. But basically, it's a fold, it's a fold, you sew a seam on either side, and like that, done. that, you turn it outside. 12 by 16 boudoir pillow. It's called a boudoir pillow. And you can find Stuck it in it any catalog or online. And this is what you're showing up with yeah. as a housewarming gift, which is really, really adorable. Yeah, it adorable. couldn't be easier. OK. So I'm not going to say the best for last, but these are the kinds of ideas that keep me running back to Elise's desk in the middle of the day. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Thank Please you. tell everybody the inspiration and how you came up with this okay, idea. OK, so my son, who is 12 now, he um, been wearing jeans since he was a toddler. And since he was a toddler, I've been saving his old jeans. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't throw them out. I figured, oh, I'll make a quilt one day. And I was cutting apart the, uh, the seams. And I thought, how cool are these seams? They're so you know, filled with character. And I just started putting them together and thought, you know what? I'm going to sew them to a backing and use them for something. Mm -hmm. And I got this chair at a flea market. It had some you know, stains on the fabric. Sure. And it was kind of a weird crushed velvet. So. I thought this is perfect. Isn't this cool? Yeah. I mean, talk about like starting a new tradition with the family. Yeah. This is so, are you going to give this to him eventually? No. Good. You should keep it for yourself. <laughs> At least, thank you. Great tip. Great 